Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, homies. Skylanos here, and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, this is going to be the first episode in a series of videos called Skylando Seas. Uh, hey, real quick, uh, before in the video, I said uh, Skylando Sea. Uh, the title of the video says Skylando Saw. So, uh, hey, <laughs> yeah. Um, as you know by the stream, I love talking about movies, animation, anime, TV shows, all that are sorts of good stuff on stream, but I'm never able to voice my opinion in a very organized way. So, why not use YouTube to do that? This first episode will feature the newest installment in the Dragon Ball series, Dragon Ball Super Broly, and I hope you folks enjoy. Okay, just a couple of things before I start this review. Um, in order to prevent myself from rambling on like a moron like I do on stream. So basically I run on like a moron here. So just to keep things short and sweet, this video is in four parts that I kind of look at for this movie. Uh, visuals, sound, dialogue, and plot. I give a verdict at the end. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoy. Part one. Visuals. See, do you get... Like what I did there, because I had my eyes closed and my glasses were off, so I couldn't see. And then, like, you. Visually, I loved how this movie looked. Everything felt so vibrant. The orange, the yellow, the blues. And, you know, if you know anything about Dragon Ball, you understand what I mean by those colors and what they refer to. But, oh man, did they look so nice on the screen. Animation-wise, everything flowed really nicely. All the animations looked really nice, really smooth. And at times, uh, some of them looked a little different to the others. Um, from what I recall, uh, watching some other explanations of this uh, movie, um, their animation team was uh, essentially allowed to do as they please for the most part. Um, so some scenes look a little bit different, but because of that, it just adds that much more, you know, visual interest into what you're watching. Um, previously in all the other Dragon Ball films, there's a very set look and a very set feel to how these movies kind of look. They're a little drab. I mean, it's the 90s and they are, you know, drawing it by hand for the most part. But, oh my goodness, am I so glad that technology can provide such beautiful, beautiful colors onto the screen. Uh, as far as the fight scenes concerned, were concerned, they looked they looked great. They were fast, they were fluid, they were violent, they were loud. We'll talk about sound later, but oh man, did the fight scenes look good. They were so fast, in fact, that I wouldn't feel bad watching it again just so I could kind of catch up on some of the little, you know, little bips and bops there. Um, I really thought visually this was great. I, some of the designs were different to what people usually see in Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Z or whatnot, but I think it's for the better. Um, you know, with a budget and, you know, the big screen, there's a lot you can do, and I think they really push the limits of what they can do with this source material, and I really, really enjoyed it. See, like get it because like you couldn't see me but like you heard me say how the movie sounds like in the background like now there's one part of the sound design that i really really enjoyed and one part of the sound design that i thought was kind of strange and a little weird and, and it kind of pulled me away from what i was watching um as far as the good the punches like that Oh my goodness! I don't know if it's because I saw it on a big screen or something, because this is the first time I've seen it like on a big, big screen. But holy moly, did I! I almost felt the punches. They sounded so loud, so good. You know, beam attack sounded nice and all that, and that all that jazz. And you know, yeah, that that's honestly like the good. It just sounded so good. Just a, that's all I can say. It's just, it's just. Give me a, okay, I'm I'm done. Um, but what I thought was kind of weird was. You know, there was music, and it wasn't anything inspiring, you know, anything super memorable, like, you know, when there, when there's, like, a big fight, like, dun, 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 you know, whatever. Um, but the weird thing was, and as a Dragon Ball fan, I was super confused, is usually um, they kind of announce their attacks, you know, you know, all that stuff. Like, they announce it, and they're about to charge up their big attack, and then, boom, they scream it, you know, at the top of their lungs. Oh, yeah, screaming was also a really good part of the sound, obviously. I mean, it's Dragon Ball. What, 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 what do you expect? Um, but instead of them chanting out their attacks, like, <laughs> part of the music in the background was like, Kamehameha! Ha! 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 And, like, and it was some sort of, like, choir in the background, like, like shouting out what they're doing, like, Kakura! Kakura! Kamehameha! Ha! Ha! 
and it was it was weird. It was weird, and I was like, well, why isn't he screaming at himself? That's what he usually does. And I know why they do it in terms of like an animation like studio in Japan. Like, you know, you you, you do Kame and they, they, you know, charge that up for a minute and a half to, you know, run up screen time. But this is a movie. You know, you could just, you know, just shout it real quick. But I guess I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking there. I thought it was weird. It wasn't like necessarily bad. I'm kinda nitpicking there, but it, it was strange. That that's all I could say. Now the dialogue and the voice acting in this movie was good. You know, Sean Schemmel's Goku, obviously, Chris Sabata's Vegeta, obviously, whoever's Frieza's Frieza. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. You know, Broly doesn't speak too much, but hey, it's all right. He did his job and he sounded fine. Um, I think that none of it was super confusing, super cringy. There was some nice little like witty one-liners, good character interaction between Goku, Vegeta, Bulma, etc. Um, I had no issues with it overall. You know, it's a Dragon Ball film, and and it and it was true to it. It didn't didn't try to push the envelope in terms of like making Goku like a super repressed character or something. Like we knew who Goku was. He's all for fun. He loves to fight. He's a goofy guy. We all know Vegeta. He's full of pride. He likes to fight. He's He's a serious man, you know, all that stuff. And uh, if you hear the ring, that's Discord. I don't know how to mute it. I'm sorry. Um, but so on and so forth, I thought the voice acting was fine. Very convincing. Very enjoyable. On the big screen, sounds great. Now, in terms of plot, Dragon Ball typically has a pretty bad rap uh, in regards to that. You know, if you've seen most or if not all of the films in regards to Dragon Ball, they're not super great. It's... You know, something's happening, maybe a picnic, maybe a tournament, and then a bad guy comes, tries to ruin it all, and then they save the day in the end. You know, that's that's usually the structure of the film. And um, while this film is essentially that as well, um, the first 20 to 30 minutes is far from that. It is it is a really engaging and really interesting origin story for our three, you know, main Saiyan lads, Goku, Vegeta, and uh, Broly. Um, and it was really engaging for Dragon Ball fans. They're going to they're going to pick up on and learn so many things about, you know, this new retcon origin and I was I was I was very engaged, very interested by this. Um it was good. That part was good. Um the reason why Frieza is there, you know, on Earth with Broly and stuff, um that's that's not so, you know, interesting or crazy. It's a little goofy, frankly. And, you know, it made me chuckle. Um, but if you're looking at the film at a, you know, at a, in a critic's perspective, it's rather silly, uh, for him to be there. Rather low stakes and rather, frankly, just <laughs> rather convenient for him to be there. But it's Dragon Ball. I'm okay with it. There's fighting in the end. There's punching. There's some good, good punching, like I said. And all in all, I enjoyed it. But I recognize that if you're not a Dragon Ball fan, it's not gonna hook you in, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna have the greatest time. Maybe you, you'll like it for the sake of fighting, but... Definitely, this film rewards the Dragon Ball fans, for sure. Now, the verdict for Dragon Ball Super Broly. As a Dragon Ball fan, I think this is easily the best Dragon Ball film to date, and I give it 10. Angry Saiyan Pingu boys out of 10. Alright? As my friend Danny said, I like the part where they fucking punch each other and screamed really loud. Hey, me too. And as my buddy Samim said, hey, Broly's kind of cool. And I agree. Um, all in all, blast to watch, blast to hear. Um, if you're a non-fan of Dragon Ball, I might pass up on it. But it is very visually interesting, and the fight scenes are really, really entertaining. But if that's not for you, I completely understand you passing up on it. Alright? So, this is Skylandos finishing up his first episode of Skylandos Seas. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace out. This is the end card. Making a video and card. Please watch my other videos, please. Thanks.